Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're gonna see a bit more into corridors in Civil 3D. Um, so we have already seen how to create a corridor, simple corridor. Please check my previous video if you need to uh, refer to it. And now in this one, we're gonna see how to create um, the corridor surface and uh, how to create a datum surface, how to create a top surface, and uh, how to create, get the volume comparisons and all this kind of stuff. So let's get through this. So this is actually our uh, corridor. Uh, so you can go to object viewer, you can check your corridor, and uh, which is all fine. So now if you see, uh, the layers that we're gonna create the surface is one which will be riding on top, which will be riding on the top string, which will go just onto all the top strings. And then another one will go to the bottom strings. So that will be the datum surface. So now let's get through this. First thing is uh, you select your surface and then you get the ribbon on the top. And um, so let's quickly run through some of the basics. One thing is your um, corridor properties. If you go in there, uh, generally you will find a whole bunch of tabs um, that you can refer to things. So first is your corridor information where you can change style. Unlike other things such as alignments and profiles where you change your style and it actually affects your actual object on the screen, corridors don't work in that way. So we have to get through something called code set style, uh, which I will go through in a later lesson. So next one is uh, parameters. So this is all the parameters that is actually uh, connected together to create the corridor. So which alignment are we using for the horizontal control and which one are we using for the vertical control, the assembly set, and then your starting chainage, ending chainage, frequency targets, and all this kind of stuff. We will again go through all of these in a basic thing. So for now, we're just gonna focus on surface. And then we got code set style, feature lines, surfaces. So now for creating a surface, there are a few ways that you can do. So one is you can get in here and um, you can create a surface. And um, so the main thing that we want to achieve here is um, we're going to create a surface and that has to contain all the links which is going on top of the corridor and then create another surface which will have all the links which is going on bottom of the corridor. So what is exactly a link? So now if I actually go to my subassembly, so this one, this lines, all the outer lines, so these are called links. And these points, all those ones are called points. And inside that we got shapes. So now if you want your corridor surface to be created for all the top links, then it has to follow all the top lines. So not the lines underneath. It should go from here, 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 and this way. So that is the links. So let's go here, go back again to your corridor properties. Now go to surface. So now from the left, as I always say, uh, go from the left to right, so that will make it easier. So first step is gonna be creating a corridor surface. So we have created a surface and make sure that you give it a name. So I'm gonna give this one as top surface. And uh, by default, the surface style will be set to no display. So this will be a little thing. People may not notice this. And then once they have done everything right and they may not see the surface, that's because the surface is created. It's just not displayed on the screen. So I'm just gonna change this to uh, just always have a surface which is different from what your other surfaces on your screen. So that way, you know, you can easily distinguish them. So I'm gonna choose um, sign triangulation since this one is um, contours and that is done. So now remember, if you click on apply, okay, it is gonna create an empty surface because there is no data added to it. You need to add the links. So I'm gonna choose, there are different types of data. One is feature lines. Feature lines are lines which is running along the corridor. And this is the links which is running across the corridor. So we need the links. And then the top code is the one that we're gonna use and then click on add. So once this is done, hit apply, rebuild corridor, hit okay, and there we go. So we got the surface created and let's go and check your surface. So now as you can see, it has actually created the top surface. So it is actually going on the top, which is fine. But the only problem is it is not stopping when there is a curve because it's basically doing triangulation. So it sees a point here and then it sees another point. And then for each and every surface, there is actually a parameter that we say, what is a maximum uh, triangle length? And if it falls within that value, so it will actually create a triangle. So we need to get rid of these portions. So now for that, we need to add something called boundaries. In the surface exercise, I showed you how to add an outer boundary, inner boundary. The similar logic is what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna pick your 
corridor so now another point that you can also see is right now see there is multiple objects on top of each other so if you don't know how to pick your specific object just turn on your selection cycle so in the footer uh, the selection cycle is one of those little icons let me turn them on so you can go to the hamburger icon to turn them on and this is gonna be selection cycle right up here and this one is the selection cycle so if it is turned on so when you actually go back to your objects you see there is get a little cursor so that means when you click now it will actually show a pop-up and then tells you all the objects under the cursor so I'm gonna choose the corridor and then I'm going to the corridor properties so now the surface is created I go to boundaries and then we got the surface here right click add automatically and then what type of boundary we're going to add so I'm going to specify the outermost one so the daylight is the outermost one so I'm going to say add automatically and then I can choose daylight you can also choose interactively so you can go and pick those ones or um, you can even create a polyline and you can add them as well so I'm going to choose add automatically and daylight you don't have to specify cut or fill if you want just for cut you can specify cut and fill and once this is done click OK rebuild corridor and uh, the surface is fixed so now that, that is actually your top surface now let's quickly create your datum surface I'm gonna go back again to surface create a new surface and then I'm gonna call this one as datum and then this one I'm gonna give it as uh, one meter interval contours and then this is gonna be datum and then add and then click apply rebuild corridor and then go to boundaries do the same thing right click add automatically and then daylight click ok rebuild corridor so now that's all done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two surface and the corridor go to object viewer and then check ok so now as you can see so the top surface is going on the top as you can see it's going on the topmost links and the datum surface is having a bit of an issue so as you can see that is actually your footpath so from that point it is not actually respecting the the another point up here so that the reason being is the daylight might have the datum uh, and the top at the at, at this point here so it's not actually respecting this another datum point here so we need to force this one to go through this so this is called backlink correction so now let's go back again to the corridor so I'm gonna select my corridor corridor properties and now um, so I'm going to my surface and uh, the issue is with the datum surface and this is your overhang correction so click on none and then I'm going to force it to look after the bottom most links click OK click OK and then do REA just in case if it doesn't refresh and then select all three of them and then go back to object viewer so now if you select them and then if you go to the side elevation so you can see your surface is actually going through the bottom point all right guys so that is for today and uh, for this lesson and then we'll continue with uh, other lessons in future so if you have any questions let me know guys and um, follow the channel spread it around and so we can do more videos we can spend a bit more time together all right guys thank you so much have a great